Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a script I created that renames multiple objects. Renaming multiple objects in Maya has always been kind of a pain, and this script lets you do it in one click. So let's check it out. OK, so the new script is right up here, and this little icon, and it's just called Name. So you click the button, and it launches this little uh, renaming toolbox here. And I've just got a bunch of spheres here, so we can do a quick demo and uh, rename this stuff and show you how the tool works. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you basically select the assets that you want to rename. So I'm just going to select all these guys here. And the order that you select them in is the order that they're going to get named as they're numbered. So if you select them like out of order like this, you know, one is going to start here and go up and down or whatever. If you select them like that, if you drag select them, you might not know what order to get them in. So if you want them numbered sequentially, start with the first one and just hold down shift and select it like that. So all you do is you come up here and you choose a name that you want to give it. So let's just type in YouTube and then you choose an increment style. So you can go none, which is how it will be right now with the one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Or you can go underscore zero one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, and 1001. I default it to 1001 because that one keeps the name the same style. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So after you've typed in a name there and chosen an increment style, all you do is click rename. Whoops, I deselected these. So let me grab those again and click rename. And boom, you get it. Everything is named YouTube underscore 1001. And see how it starts at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever, all the way down to 30. And it's exactly four characters long. So just like the Maya default renaming tool, if we go like zero one, we say, and do a rename there. See, it goes down to here, but then it becomes three digits, which I don't personally like. Uh, but if you don't mind that, then you can choose these different styles here. Click rename, whatever, click rename, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to quickly set that back to 1001. Oops, I didn't demonstrate the none. So if you do none, then it does that style as well. So set that to there, click rename. And I'm just going to show you how I've actually improved upon the uh, default uh, Maya tool. So if we've got 1001 to 1030, and in the um, default Maya tool, if you type YouTube underscore 1001 and hit enter, it starts to add weird numbers. Look, it left the first one, but then we've got 30 here, and we've got 59 here. And so every time you rename another stack of things, it increments them incorrectly. Uh, but with this guy, it actually does it correctly. So if I do that, I get 1 to 30. And if I change the name to something else and rename, I still get 1 to 30, uh, unlike the Maya default tool, which just goes all wacky. Another cool feature that I've added is you can add a prefix and a suffix. So the rename renames the whole asset and puts the increment, appends that at the end. The suffix just adds a suffix to the existing name, and same with the uh, prefix. So basically, let's add prefix and click the prefix, and boom, it adds it to the front. Now, if you want to space it out with an underscore, that's cool too. Click that and see it adds it again. So basically, the prefix kind of wants to do it uh, beforehand. So what was our original name here? We had YouTube, and we'll just rename that guy, and then we wanted to go prefix underscore click it and there you go prefix youtube now if you wanted to add a suffix it's the same thing i'll put an underscore suffix and click the suffix and see it adds it to the end there if you add that again it's going to keep adding it to the end uh, as many times as you want so let's just quickly rename that back rename and the cool thing about the prefix and the suffix is that they don't change the base name. So, for example, if you're doing name matching or something in uh, Marmoset Baker or in the Substance Baker, and you want to rename some stuff to be high and low so the name matching works and you don't have to explode your model, we can do that in here. So let's pretend that these two guys are the highs. So I'm just going to say underscore high and add a suffix. Boom. So you kept the original name. And then these guys are the low, for example. Whoops. And then click it and boom, you get the low. So that can be super helpful if you've already named some of the objects in your scene and you just want to then rig it up for name matching. As well, the tool also does a search and replace feature. 
So basically, I put some help text in here. If you just hit backspace and get rid of the name, you can see here it's the rename slash search for and then replace with, and you use the replace button. So let's say I want to grab these guys here, and I don't want the word, let's say, U T U. We could do a search for, so U T U, and I want to replace with. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is just for a test. So we'll go F, 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 and you hit replace, and boom, it replaces those letters with these letters in your selection. So that's pretty cool as well. And then, of course, if you don't want to add the suffix after the numbers, you can just name it in a separate way. So if we wanted to go, whatever, I'll just get rid of that. We want to go YouTube underscore, let's say, whatever, hi, underscore, um, 1001, then we can just kind of name it at, along the way as we go there. So just click rename. And then so there you get the high or whatever and uh, the name after. And then if you really wanted to, if you wanted some of these to be low, we could say like, oh, these guys, uh, they're not going to be the high. So I'm going to search for, whoops, high and replace with low and boom. And then, so then you get the suffix at the end. So you can kind of use the tool in different creative ways to create a bunch of different naming conventions. So whatever, test underscore prefix. And so there you go, pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this script. I find it pretty useful, a lot better than using the three different tools that are built into Maya, like this thing plus the suffix tool, plus the prefix tool, plus all the weird settings that you have to do. Now you can quickly just get it in one place, click here, and boom, you're just ready to go. Let's grab this stuff and whatever, go for it. Rename, done. As well as the fact that you don't even need to type an increment. It'll just automatically do it. So you can just work on the name and click rename and whatever, done deal. And then as you can see there, I selected them in a weird order, and then that's why they're renaming weird. Click one more time, see, and then it reorders them. So that's also very helpful. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel wouldn't exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a wonderful day.